Yeah. You hit that on the head, though, because, you know, you're reading about sellouts at the pit. You're, you know, you, like you said, San Diego State has great crowds. Everywhere you go, it's hard. And this building was hard for the opponent because of the fans showing up. It's not the building, it's the people, and it was great. For our guys, it means the world. I mean, they were juiced. They want to play in these environments. Our guys love that, and it makes a difference. It does, it makes a difference. Last night, Bronco Nation made a big difference. In front of 12,007 fans, the Boys State men's basketball team rolled to a 23-point victory over Utah State last night. The crowd was the largest at Extra Mile Arena since 2011, and the margin of victory was their biggest over Utah State in the Leon Rice era. Yeah, pretty good. Sophomore Tyson Dagenhart was also pretty good. He led the offensive charge for the Broncos. He tied a season high with 19 points. He also pulled down 10 rebounds to notch his very first career double-double. The most encouraging part of his performance was his ability to connect from distance. After struggling most of the season from three, Tyson was a perfect two for two against the Aggies. Following the game, he explained that confidence is key. Confidence skyrockets when a couple go in, you know. It just helps my game out all around and you know, I don't want to be a guy who, you know, only plays good when he makes shots. You want to make an impact, you know, either way. So that's just the chair on top is making shots. Earlier this week, we talked about it. I said you were due for a perfect two for two game. So we called that one, me and Tust. But yeah, we know he's going to make those. And I feel like getting in the lane, I always look for him. And, and I know it's going to pay off. Those are just easy assists for me because they kind of help off him sometimes. Uh, and he's going to knock those down consistently. So we're not really worried about it at all. By the way, I appreciate the shout out from Max because we did call that and Tyson did have a nice little breakout performance. You called two for two though? Two for two, exactly. Max and I did. Impressive. Yeah, I know. You, you don't want to reach a little, aim a little higher, four for four? No, nah, because Max needs his shots and he went, he went four yeah, for six true. from that's three, true. right? That's true. That's fair. <laughs> now Boise State's sitting at third in the Mountain West Conference. I know that it is still incredibly early, but a, a big quad one victory for Boise State. Simply put, it doesn't get any better than those when you're trying to build your NCAA tournament resume and now they get another opportunity going out on the road to take on UNLV this coming week. Yeah, absolutely. Really shows you how great the Mountain West Conference mm -hmm. has been this season. Uh, really no rest, but a lot of momentum as they keep building these big wins. Yeah, and it's it's very rare that Boise State gets a quad one game at home just because a team has to be ranked in the top 30 of the net rankings. And I mean, that it's incredibly high. Right now, Utah State is. Another team that is, Nevada, number 29. They're scheduled to come to, top, uh, to Extra Mile Arena coming up next week. So another big opportunity for Bronco Nation to catch the Broncos in a big-time basketball game. Hey,